guys it is my third day in california and i forgot my camera charger so we're at the beach we're at what beach are we at victoria beach victoria beach in laguna we're at laguna beach, we're at laguna beach. and i'm vlogging on my phone i definitely have my camera but it's about to die and i didn't bring a battery unfortunately Hey guys, I'm going home. Give me a second. I am currently in the process of packing up my entire room. As you guys can't see, but I'm gonna show you. If you watch my apartment tour, it looks very different. That's because I'm going home and I am gonna come back here at some point, I'm pretty sure. But for the most part, I'm gonna be gone. Today I woke up at three o'clock in the morning ish and took cj my lovely boyfriend to the airport because he went home like an hour and a half trip up to austin then i drove back by myself which is a little bit scary because it was like five o'clock in the morning it was very foggy i actually called my mom talked to her on the phone for about 20 miles but that's just because i'm a big baby wow he on the way there was just whipping it you know like so i got back here around seven o'clock instantly went back to sleep a uh, thing asked me if i wanted something from starbucks she got me a lovely drink that I had to do all the creamer and ish to. You know, I took a thing to our school to get on the bus at 1045 because my team is leaving for nationals today. As you can tell, I'm not going to nationals because 15th place isn't good enough. Some of my teammates are going to go to trials. Some of my teammates are going to go to the Olympics. And we're just going <laughs> to them all the way there. Oh, I got my lashes done too. They were supposed to make me look better, but you know what I got them done for? No, I'm just kidding. Like, let me stop. It is Sunday. I start summer school tomorrow, but hopefully I can just do it on my own pace because I'm just gonna bust it out and please get degrees. I'm kind of putting some stuff in here that I want to keep for my next apartment as I go, but what I'm really doing is packing for going home and everything else that I'm gonna do afterwards. I'm going home on Tuesday. So like I said, it's Sunday. I'm going home on Tuesday, which is literally in like two days. My coach cut me off until July 1st. So cut me off as in he told me to not do anything. Like, you're done, season's done. Like, relax, stop thinking about track, which I definitely need. I have done nothing but pick up the camera and sit the camera back down and then pick up the camera and sit the camera back down. Okay, where do I start? I think this bag I am gonna use to actually travel all over the place because this one's kind of small. Okay. I have three bags that are going to the donation. So I have no clothes. You know what I did? Ordered a large order from Shein and it's supposed to come in next week. And I don't plan on coming back here until like the end of June. I think I might just have to fly back to get my packages because that's a waste of god dang money. I don't plan on doing any physical running activity while I'm on my hot girl summer break. But if it happens to happen, I should come prepared. So I'm gonna pack some spandex in running clothes. I guess. I'm just kidding. I'm acting like I'm gonna sit down and do absolutely nothing and that's not the case. Let me just look through this crap. I don't, like, I'm not even gonna make outfits. I'm just gonna take, like, out. when I tell you I got rid of all of my clothes. This is my bridesmaid maid of honor dress. I think it's birthday is also on Tuesday. I have a great idea in mind. A great one, like a such a great one, such a great one. But I have T minus two days to get it all set up and figured out. She's not gonna be home until next Sunday. They come back around Monday, I don't know. They come back for like two days and then they go back to Oregon for the Olympic trials. So I want to have something here when she comes back for like those two days. And I had the greatest idea. I just need to make sure that, you know, it fits her schedule. She's very famous. I also hope I have the money. 
I'm gonna continue packing when I get a little more stuff in the bag. You know, you guys can just like watch me montage. I mean, I don't know what you call that at all. I didn't want to talk for like a week and now I'm finally talking to myself and it feels really good. Okay, mostly all the clothes that I want going are <laughs> in the suitcase. Yeah. I'm gonna pack up mostly everything, put some extra jackets and stuff that aren't gonna fit. I'm doing pretty well. I also have other suitcases, but I'm flying American and it's also a really small plane. Cause when you fly to College Station, it's a really small plane and then you fly to Dallas and it's a big plane. And like the odds of them losing one of my bags if I was to bring three of them is just like very high. Plus you have to pay for bags. So I think I'm gonna bring my clothes to the donation. Three people watched me walk by carrying these big old bags that all ripped apart now and nobody wanted to help me. It's not that big of a deal because I really don't like being social so I would have you know, had to say thank you and all that. I'm better off just doing it by myself because women. I dropped all three of my bags right there. Forgot to turn the camera on because I wasn't sure what to do, so you know. Ordered pasta because I'm very lazy. I didn't feel like going to the grocery store and cooking for myself. And I was just talking about how I need money and I decided to spend money on Uber Eats. I know she didn't leave these dishes for me to do. It's currently like four o'clock right now. I've just been packing, going over schoolwork to see what I have to do. Um, waiting for CJ to respond to me and he just barely did. Good morning, almost eight o'clock. I woke up on my own at like 7.30. I just brushed my teeth and I think I'm gonna get in the shower because obviously I'm kind of in the same clothes yesterday. I didn't do much, but I did enough to think I need to take a shower. Okay, mom, I'm gonna do this homework. Have done a lot today. Don't even remember the last time I picked up the camera, but I don't know why my camera just shut off, but I'm packing right now. I just ran up the stairs, so I'm tired. This is full of clothes, this is full of shoes, and then that's gonna be full of all the rest of the stuff. I did some schoolwork earlier, but then after schoolwork, I went to the store because the thing's birthday is tomorrow. This is what I did to her room. Put some streamers right here. How cute, right? She's gonna be like, oh my god, wow. Um, and then I put, these balloons were so hard to blow up and then they were hard to tie because I got these long freaking nails. And then I got this cute little banner from Target just says happy birthday. So that's her bed right here. Yeah, that's her room, but she'll, oh, see, it's gonna give it away because the strings keep coming out of the door. I just need to stop going in here. I think, sorry, I'm all up in your room, but I, Trash away. I started off downstairs. It's dark, but I also got these at Target to say happy birthday and they hang up, but I thought it was cuter on the couch. That looks really cute. And then I got her some snacks that she likes and another mug because we love coffee. The 19 balloons, of course, because why not? In a bag that has absolutely nothing in it because I don't have a legit gift yet, but I have the Done. I'm just gonna finish packing up my stuff. My friend Jean is taking me to the airport in the morning. It's like five minutes away because I'm flying out of College Station. And then I'll be in Arizona tomorrow. This vlog may continue or I may just edit it, post it now because this is really just a packing vlog, me doing absolutely nothing. And I'm putting a lot of stuff in my track bag too. This fan is obnoxiously loud, but it's 8 o'clock in the morning. My flight got delayed until 11 a.m. It was at like 10.30. So I could have stayed asleep, but that's okay. I hit my snooze so many times today. I literally never do that. I'm not gonna see many more videos in this room. Not that you did to begin with, but it's okay. Can't wait for you guys to see my new apartment. My flight just got delayed from 10.30 to 11.50. And it wouldn't be a problem if I didn't have a connecting flight at 12. A thing. I love you. That's why I'm wearing your name on my wrist. And I hope you have the best day. And I wish I was there. Why is it filling up so much? Oh my gosh, I did not put that much water in there. What the? 
I'm really not surprised, but my flight got changed again. If I failed the class, I would simply change my major. Unless <laughs> I don't have a major though. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Like freshman year, if you fail a class, you kinda have to retake the class. If I failed econ, I would change my major because in other majors you don't have to take econ. The way that Jade is already at my house. <laughs> and I just got here. My I was in the airport for about like seven hours yesterday because flight was supposed to be at 10.30, I got delayed all the way until 12.30, multiple times. I got 25 million notifications about it. It was like 11, 11, 20, 11 this, then it was like 12.30, I was like, okay. But I fly out of Dallas, was supposed to leave at one o'clock, so I was gonna miss my connecting flight. So they automatically rescheduled me to four o'clock. I was already like, dang, I'm about to have a two and a half hour layover or whatever, you know, until I have to board. Then I get off the plane and the, I turn off my airplane mode. The first notification I get says, your flight to Phoenix has been canceled. You've been rescheduled for 1040 on June 9th, which is today, to fly out tomorrow. Absolutely not. I'm not about to be stuck in Dallas in a ratchet hotel. Like, absolutely not. So I'm up to the first kiosk lady and she was so nice. She didn't send me to customer service or anything. She was like, we're gonna get you home tonight. She was taking her precious time. It was kind of stressing me out, but she ended up putting me on a standby list, a plane to Phoenix that left at six. But then they call it my name, sprinted up there as fast as I possibly could. Please. The guy was like, apparently the person you're working with got you on another flight, so here you go. He was kind of annoyed and I was like, you chose to work here. But yeah, so then I got secured on a spot at eight o'clock, so I went and sat for another two and a half hours and I just started doing homework. I was on TikTok. My eyes were literally like cross-eyed because I've just been staring at my phone all day. Um, and I didn't even realize how long I was in the airport. I was like, wow, I've been here all day. It's eight o'clock at night. We're just gonna finish this up and then I wanna go shopping. So that's all I wanna tell you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe. I'll be home for a little bit. All the summer plans I told you about um, they're still in play. I just don't really know when stuff is happening. I just keep buying one-way tickets everywhere I want to go and We'll just figure it out as we go. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe I want to do a giveaway so but I don't know what to give away You should have gave away some of those clothes that you 